Yo, what's up, Crossroads students? Hold on, hold on. I, I don't know if I'm in frame. I, I got this. What is wrong with you? Okay. Oh, wow. Go ahead. <laughs> what's up, Crossroads students? Once again, I'm tag teaming with this guy. Uh, he's one person I know I can always call and we can always bounce these things off. And he has the same heart uh, for sure. you as I do. And one of the things that we begin to talk about is this thing of community that while we are in this uh, quarantine phase, but one thing that God still uh, requires of us is that we still be in community. Yeah. And I know community can look different, like going live with each other, Zoom yeah. calls and things of that sort, following me on TikTok. Like, I got to keep plugging oh that. It's going to be dope. But Drewski, like this whole sense of community, yeah. I know it look a little bit different now, but it's something that we're wired for, right? Absolutely. Guys, we, we can't allow these moments to be ones where we don't say, God, how have you still wired us for community, and, and this is the simplest thing. Like just your just your instinct to want to be with some friends. Like that's what we're talking about. Mm. But we're talking about it from the perspective of, hey, we need to get together and, mm. and remember and remind each other about Jesus, man, yeah. and encourage each other, mm. right? So it's not just me and Corbin hanging out. It's me and Corbin hanging out and, and just encouraging each other, man, saying, hey, man, don't worry about your wife. God's got her in mm. his hands and that baby too. Mm. Don't you worry about any of those details, man. God has that in his True. sovereign hand. And just reminding each other of those things. Because, man, when we gather as a church, man, that's what we're there for. We're there mm. to encourage and to look at what the Bible tells us. Yes, so, I do. We're talking about what the Bible says about yeah. this. Uh, uh, I remember of a teaching that you like did for us like a couple weeks ago yeah. when you was talking about how the apostles uh, or the people devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and like gathering together and meeting. That's it. Chicken. That's it. I think Man, Acts 2.48, that's what they did. They had devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and, and just sharing meals together. And you know what? Listen, I'm not saying you necessarily got to go to your friend's house and eat a dinner with them right now. But what I'm saying is like, like intentionally spend that time together, right? I may not be able right. to see Core all the time, but man, I can give him a call. We can, we can, you know, FaceTime, Skype, whatever, and get together without having to necessarily like, don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? So we love you guys. We just need to remind you because this is the truth, man. In moments like this, it's so easy to get distracted by all these other things. Don't forget that God built you for community. Yeah. Don't forget. We love you guys. Don't forget to reach out, man. Hit, a, hit him up on Instagram. Hit him up on TikTok. TikTok. Bro, the time tickety, is running out. Tickety top. And listen, also, listen, I you may just, I that. may, don't never do that again. <laughs> But listen, I may be jumping the gun here, but listen, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel too, Crossroads of Douglasville. You need to find us on YouTube because we're going to be doing some creative things that way too. But stay locked. I love you. And you're better when we are together. That's it. Like, no touching though. Like, don't go, don't do that. Like, you can Skype friends and stuff like that, but do not touch. I love y'all. We out.